Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I have some last minute Dollar Tree DIY gift basket ideas for anybody and everybody, from neighbors to friends to family. So if you're new here and you like home decor and DIYs on a budget, stick around by hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications so you never miss out on a new video. Let's get into it. For this DIY gift basket idea, I'm going to make a cute little popcorn tower with these two matching boxes from Dollar Tree. I picked up one that's circular and one that's square, and then I also picked up a few bags of this flavored popcorn from Dollar Tree. This brand is really yummy. I picked up two packages of the iced gingerbread flavor, and then a package of the black and white sugar cookie flavor. I put the one package in the circular box and then two packages in the larger box, and then I I had these gift tags from Dollar Tree that I pulled off and just punched a little hole in and put on the top of the circular box and then I just hot glued the circular box on to the bigger box and I think it turned out really cute. This is a perfect, easy, and inexpensive high-end gift that you can give anybody that loves a popcorn and keeping them in the bags. Make sure the popcorn stays fresh so you can give this at any time. For this gift basket idea, I'm going to make a charcuterie box. I got this box from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to use about half a bag of this shred from Dollar Tree in the bottom of the box. Now Dollar Tree does sell summer sausage, so I picked up a package of that to put in the box. They also have these triangles of cheddar cheese, so I placed that in there as well. They both do not need to be refrigerated, so that is perfect. And then I am going to add some Godiva chocolates at the top there. They also have these little snack size bags of olives, and I picked up the green ones, but they do have Clamata olives as well. Now, as you can see here, I am just playing around with how everything is fitting in the box so that that way there is a space for everything. The next thing that I am going to place in the box are these crackers. They are the best tasting crackers that I have ever had, and they are perfect for a little charcuterie box. So they come in individually wrapped packages. So I just placed one of those in there. And then they also have these spreads at Dollar Tree. I only found this flavor, but I placed that in the little corner. It fit perfectly there. And that was it for this box. I added a little bit of shred to kind of um, bump everything up so that everything stood out a little bit more. And then for decoration, I added these little jingle bells inside the box. It's not necessary, but I thought it was cute and festive. And I love how this box turned out it's a nice charcuterie box for a fraction of the cost that you will pay in a store for this gift basket idea it would be perfect for any car lover I picked up one of these gold metal baskets from Dollar Tree as my base and then I picked up one of these handy chamois from Dollar Tree that's perfect to wipe out the interior or exterior of your car and then I placed some decorative shred inside the basket to prop up all of these armor all products that I found at Dollar Tree I picked up seven different sprays from Dollar Tree that I found there's anywhere from glass cleaner disinfectant spray spray, a leather care cleaner, and even spray wax and tire shine. I placed them all inside of the basket nicely and neatly. And like I said, this is perfect for any car lover. Don't forget about the fur babies this holiday season. I picked up one of these mailboxes from a Dollar Tree that have the cute little animals on the side and it says Santa loves me. I'm gonna make a basket for a dog, but you can make one for a cat. Dollar Tree has a ton of different options. And this pet blanket is perfect for both either cat or dog. And then I picked up one of these little toys that say naughty on them, but they have another one that says nice. And then also Dollar Tree does have some name brand treats. I picked up these dingo bones, which are perfect to help clean dogs teeth and then also some milk bones that have a little Christmas decor on the packaging I put everything inside the box and closed it up and this is perfect to gift to someone who has a pet or just to gift to your own fur baby this holiday season 
I couldn't pass this gift idea up when I saw that Dollar Tree had all of these fun, festive holiday socks. They are so cute. They have men's, women's, and children's. I picked up six pairs of men's. Anybody could wear these though. They have Santa Clauses on them, Christmas trees on them. They have one with a Yeti. And then I love these ones with the sharks and the Santa Claus hats with the little beards. And then Dollar Tree obviously has all of the gift boxes, which you saw previously in this video so I picked up a square gift box that had the Santa Claus on it and then all I did was just take the packaging off of all of the socks and then I rolled the socks up and placed them nicely inside of the box six pairs of socks fit perfectly inside this box I love how this gift turned out it's perfect to gift anybody this holiday season this basket is perfect for people who love to snack. I picked up one of the gold wire baskets from Dollar Tree and I took some of this velvet red ribbon from Dollar Tree and I wove it in and out through the outside of the basket and then tied a bow around the front of the basket um, just to give it a little bit more of a Christmassy look. And then I picked up just a bunch of different snacks from Dollar Tree. They have a lot to choose from. You could fill this with the person you're gifting it to's favorite snacks or your favorite snacks that you might want them to try out. Um, but there's just a bunch of options that you can choose from. I love that they have the Harry and David Moose Munch and the Boom Chicka Popcorn. And then also these pistachios are a great snack as well. And it's all pretty healthy for this basket, which actually I didn't mean for it to be, but it is. Um, and then I added these pomegranate chocolate bites. These are so good. My son loves these. I pick them up every time I go but this makes the perfect Christmas gift for the snacker. And I picked up one of these gift boxes from Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna take the lid off and place that underneath the box. Um, you could always use a shrink wrap and shrink wrap your boxes if you'd like instead of using the lids. Um, and then I used a little bit of that decorative shred and put in the box. And then I am going to start off with some ice cream cones, and I placed them in Inside a loot bag from Dollar Tree just to make it look a little more high-end and then of course you have to add sprinkles for Sundays and then they didn't have chocolate chips unfortunately at my Dollar Tree so I picked up chocolate chunks and I also have some of these zipper bags from Dollar Tree so I'm just gonna place some of the chocolate chunks inside the zipper bag and tie it off and also by taking things out of the bags and placing them in something else you can actually make more multiple boxes with all of these ingredients so you don't have to just make one. I added a couple candy canes and then I also picked up some of these paper cups from Dollar Tree that I added to the box as well. And then I am also going to add these holiday cookies which I opened up because I had to taste test them and they do taste good. They came with three different shapes, a Santa, a gingerbread man, and a uh, Christmas tree. So I just took them out of the bag, again, placing them in one of those Ziploc baggies there and tying it off. These cookies do break easily, so just beware of that. I placed that inside the box and then you definitely need an ice cream scoop for an ice cream box. And then I just made a tag from Dollar Tree Tags that said, just add ice cream and place that onto my ice cream scoop. And that was it for this cute little gift. For this next gift, I'm going to make a hot chocolate gift box. Dollar Tree has all kinds of cute tens this year. And I'm just going to, again, remove the lid and place it on the bottom of the box. Now this one doesn't just uh, sit nicely. You do have to make sure that you click it into place. But once it's click in, clicked into place, it will stay there. And then I use some more of that decorative shred, just another bag full of it. Um, you can use as much or as little as you'd like. I like mine full. And 
And then I found the hot chocolate bombs at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna place one of those inside the box. And then also the Rudolph snack mix, which is super cute. And then some more of those holiday cookies. I'm just gonna place those again in one of those zipper bags. But instead of tying it off with a twist tie, this time I'm going to use some reindeer ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree, which I think is super cute. Goes with the Rudolph snack mix, I think. And I'm just gonna tie that off there at the top. And then I did cut the zipper part off the bag at the top there as well to make it look a little bit nicer. Then I picked up some of these Christmas marshmallows, which are super cute. They are from Dollar Tree as well. And I used some more of that ribbon to tie them off in one of those zipper bags. And I cut the zipper off the bag um, on the top there as well, like I did with the cookies. Then I'm gonna use some of these candy cane spoons from Dollar Tree. I just took a couple out of the box, placed them in the zipper bag upside down and used a twist tie to tie those off and cut the zipper part off at the bottom. And this turned out to be such an adorable gift box. Chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me This next gift idea, I was inspired by this Clean It Naturally magazine, which has a bunch of natural cleaning product recipes in it. And I found one of these gold wire baskets from Dollar Tree that looks almost exactly like the one in the picture on the magazine. So I placed my magazine inside that basket. And then I picked up these cleaning cloths from Dollar Tree. I just removed the tag off of them. That way it would look a little more high end when I placed it in the basket. And then next I picked up a pack of these quick erasers from Dollar Tree. They're just like the magic erasers, um, but Dollar Tree sells them magic erasers but they only come one in a pack so these ones work just fine and I used some Dollar Tree ribbon to tie around them after I took them out of the package again just making it look a little more high-end and then I also picked up a pack of these uh, copper scrubbies and I'm gonna place those in the basket as well and then I picked up one of these spray bottles from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna place that in the basket. That way, if your gift recipient wants to make their own natural cleaning solution from the recipes in the magazine, they have a bottle to put it in. And then lastly, I added this cute little candle with the wooden top and I love how this gift came out. This next gift is a perfect gift to give to a grandparent. I'm gonna use one of the Dollar Tree 8x10 canvases. And if you have seen my channel before, you know I like to use my printer to print on these canvases. So I just removed the canvas from the frame. You can paint or stain the frame, whatever you would like. But it's really important when you get the canvas off the frame to cut along the edges where the canvas was wrapped around the frame because it will get caught in your printer if it's not smooth. Now I went ahead and captured how I printed my picture. So I just chose my picture. I'm using a Mac. It comes up in preview and then I'm going to go ahead and I am going to change the size to eight by 10 and then I am going to auto rotate, uncheck that box there. So that way my picture is rotated the way I want it. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to fit this to the entire page and then I am going to print this so you might have to play around with this with your printer um, and use a piece of regular paper to test it out on to see how it works but I just fed my canvas into my printer and then my printer printed off my picture on to my canvas and it turned out to be pretty good quality so the next thing all I'm going to do is take my picture and place it on the back of my frame line it up up there as best as I can and then I'm gonna just use some hot glue to secure the canvas back to the frame but you can definitely use a staples um, if you want to and then once I get that all glued down I'm just gonna cut along the edges to get that excess canvas off and it turned out perfect for a grandparent gift 
dancing around the Christmas tree, hugging and kissing just you and me. Carolers are singing out. This next gift idea is super simple but very elegant. It is a New Year's Eve box, and I just picked up one of these gold glittery boxes from Dollar Tree. I placed the lid on the underside of the box, and I'm going to fill it with this white decorative shred. Again, you can place the lid back on the box when you are finished, or you can wrap this in some of the shrink wrap. Dollar Tree has these cute little sparkling juices that look like champagne bottles, so I placed one of those in the box, and then I also picked up these cute little polka dotted gold shot glasses that I placed in the box, and I used some of these party favor blowers that match perfectly with the theme. You you could place so many things inside this New Year's Eve box, but it's definitely perfect to give somebody or a couple or something like that so that they can celebrate the New Year. The So Dollar Tree has so many cute pet items that I've found. One of the items is this All My Kids Have Paws container. It's so cute, so I couldn't forget about making a gift for the pets and the pet parents. So I just took the lid off and placed that on the bottom, and then I filled this with some of the red decorative shred, so that way you could see the wording a little bit better. And then I'm going to fill the container with one of these packs of the holiday milk bones. And then I found two of these dental bones that I put in there. And then Dollar Tree has these cute little decorative bows that you can put on dogs' collars. And they have them in all different uh, designs. So I picked up a pack of those. And then you can't forget to add a toy. So I chose some tennis balls, but they do have stuffed animal dog toys as well. Dollar Tree also sells cat toys and cat treats so you can make a cute cat themed gift as well. I also picked up some of this Merry Christmas ribbon with the red truck and the dogs and I thought that that would just finish this gift off nicely. So I wrapped around the top of the container. I used a little hot glue to secure the ribbon down and then I tied a bow with some extra ribbon and hot glued that down and I love this gift. I would love giving it to a pet parent or receiving it as a pet parent parent myself. Last but not least, I'm going to make a Christmas tea tree with one of these styrofoam cones from Dollar Tree. And I have two boxes of tea from Dollar Tree as well. I have apple cranberry and chamomile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate each uh, pack of tea around the base of the cone. And I'm gonna hot glue them down so that they wrap around the cone. And I'm going to overlap them as I am working my way around. Once I get to the last one, then I'm going to go ahead and start in the middle um, on the second row in the middle of the two bottom tees and then alternating around it, just hot gluing the tops of the tea bags um, down instead of the sides of the tea bags down. And then I'm just going to keep working my way up all the way around until I get to the top of the cone. I do think if you use glue dots, it would come off a lot easier than hot glue, but hot glue works just fine. I made a topper for my tree with some of this Dollar Tree ribbon. I just made a bow off camera and hot glued it to the top and cut the tails off and this made for a perfect tea lovers gift for the holidays Thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you got some inspiration from these Dollar Tree unique gift ideas. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy holidays. Bye-bye.